What is up guys? It is Marcy and Jamie and we are here in the Wild Foods kitchen and here at Wild Foods we are obsessed with ingredients and the story behind them. So today we're going to talk about our best selling coffees, our Peru, Sodamo, and Mexico Roast. You coffee lovers are going to love this one. What better way to keep the purity of the bean than keeping it in its raw form and grinding it because that just keeps the flavor as raw and fresh for you guys as possible. So for those who aren't too familiar with buying their own coffee beans and doing the whole process at home, we actually recommend it because grinding your own beans is going to give you the utmost flavor and the freshest version of the coffee bean. If you buy them already ground up, they have been sitting on the shelf, they lose flavor, they lose all of the purity that you guys really want. A lot of people are kind of confused on where to begin with a grinder. A really good one costs you a few pennies, like I would say a hundred bucks. You don't really want to get the cheapest one, which is like $30. While you can, it's just not going to be the best quality. So we recommend recommend one for about a hundred bucks, and it's going to get those beans almost exactly to the size that you need and want to retrieve the most flavor. And now we're going to show you guys how we grind our beans, and we're going to bring you along on this experience and smell each one and describe the flavors for you guys so you can mm. pick which one is best for you. Okay, so I just opened our Mexico Dark Roast, and as you can see, there's actually quite a bit of oil on these beans. The darker the roast, the more oil the beans hold. If you open the light one, the Peru, you won't see as much oil in there. We're just gonna pour it right into our grinder here. You put the lid on and turn it up and it just keeps going. So here's our Peru roast and as you can see, the beans are a lot less oily than that Mexico dark roast. But they sure do look good. Okay, so we have ground them all up and now we are gonna talk about the flavor complex and the notes of each one. So starting with Peru. Mm, the scents are so strong and you can just like taste the different flavors in there. So the Peru specifically comes from volcanic soil in Peru and it's got a smooth, nutty taste that doesn't impose on the palate. So now we are gonna move on to our Mexico blend and this blend comes from the Chiapas region of Mexico. Mm, okay, this is definitely the blend for me because it's slightly nutty, it has notes of caramel and also chocolate, and I will do anything or eat or drink anything that smells or yeah. tastes like chocolate. Mexico so is one of my favorites. This is definitely my favorite blend right here. It's a very rich, bold mm, flavor. Yeah, really, it really like brings a, like a warm kind of feeling to your body when yeah. you can smell it. So our last one, our Sadama Rose, they are Ethiopian beans. Mmm, they smell obviously so good. They are fruity and floral with a hint of blueberries. So they are like super fresh. So now I'm gonna show you guys how we do an easy, quick pour over coffee. So it's super easy and you get the hang of it. You just have to learn the details in the beginning. It takes a little practice and you'll be good to go after that. So first things first, you wanna heat up your little filter here. We've got our hot water in our kettle. Just discard that. We just wanna get it preheated. Put it on your scale, zero out the scale, and then you can pour in the grounds. And for one cup of coffee for me, I do about 25 grams. So we'll stop there and we zero it out again and we're ready to start pouring. And you want to pour in a circular motion and the goal is to soak all the grounds at once. And once you've soaked all those grounds, you then let it sit for 30 seconds, and then you'll go and do the same thing. All right, so we waited 30 seconds. We wanna pour another round over. We wanna soak the grounds, pour in a circular motion, and we'll wait another 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna keep pouring until I get to about I'm gonna go for about 395 grams of water. So I'm just about there. And we will be all set after that. There you go, guys. Here's our Chemex brewed coffee. It looks delicious. 
and we're gonna give it a go. So before we get going guys, I wanted to share a little bit about our newest product. We're so excited about this one. It's the Wild CBD. It is our 500 milligram tincture. It's sweetened with mint essential oil, so it's so easy to take. You just take it under your tongue. It tastes super good. It's just like a minty oil. Oil has never been easier to take, and this can treat pain, chronic pain in some cases. It treats my menstrual cramps. I don't have to take Advil anymore. We are so excited to have this. It's a total game changer, and uh, again, we'll be sure to have this link below. It is THC free, but I wanna show you guys how we can just add it right into our coffee. So we're just gonna fill it all the way up. We're gonna drop it right in. That way you can have your kick and relax too. So that is all for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, we have a special code for you guys and it is YouTube 12 for 12% off any of our products. Be sure to check below for those links and you guys will see them. We wanted to welcome our newest subscriber, Louis L. Hello. Hello and thanks for coming along our journey. We appreciate you guys so much and we're excited to, to deliver more fun and exciting content on our premium ingredients. We hope you love it. See you soon guys. Bye. Bye.